Hello, sports fans, and especially those of you out there that like out-of-the-park baseball. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And as you may or may not know, um, I am doing a Kansas City Royals playthrough. We are in the second season of that. Uh, last season, we finished, uh, I believe we were last place in the uh, AL Central, either last or second to last. Um, and this is the second year, and we're doing worse in the second year. We are definitely last. We are the worst team in the league. In fact, I will show you the standings really quick. Um, so there are the standings, and let me see if we can get all of them in here. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's what the National League looks like, and here's what the American League looks like. And we are last, you can see, we're the dead last. We're 24 and 59, and the Nationals over in the National League are 28 and 56. So they're actually a little better than we are. So, uh, yeah, it's not real good. doesn't look real good. We actually took a step backwards um, in our development of our players and uh, the players that we have. So we do have some issues. Um, we also have some injuries. Uh, I think Michael Massey is um, uh, out. So, um, yeah, we've got problems. And we're about to play the Marlins. So let's go ahead and do that. Get that out of the way. Uh, the Marlins lineup today is going to be uh, B. Lee at second base. I don't know who that is. Burleson in left field. Don't know who that is. Barry at first base. <laughs> don't know any of these guys. So I don't know if they are. Re and we're going to have to address something over here too for our lineup. But um, Otani. Now they've got Shohei Otani. I don't know how they managed to pull that off. The Marlins. But they've got him DHing today. Um, Solaire is going to be in right field. I know him. Al Mora Jr. Uh, Alberto or Al something Al Mora Jr. Um, I do know. I'm, I forget what his first name is. Let's see what it is. Um, well, I guess they're not going to show it to me. But anyway, I am familiar with him, that last name. Uh, Nick Fortes, I am vaguely familiar with him. Kiner Falefa, we know. I do know Kiner Falefa, shortstop. And Guthrie will be at third base. They've got Sixto Sanchez pitching. Uh, he has a 506 earned run average on the year. So, uh, yeah, we have to address this uh, problem with our lineup. Um, what are we missing here? We seem to be missing a catcher because, of course, Salvador Perez is tired. Uh, where's the guy? There he is. This is Nick Lofton is the guy I always play at catcher. Um, when I need uh, when I need the uh, catcher because uh, as we have discussed I've discussed it in other uh, games I'm not the general manager of this team and the general manager for some reason doesn't give me a backup catcher on my active roster so anyway we fixed that so our lineup is going to be Bobby Witt Jr. at third leading off Johan Carma Car Camargo is going to be at second base. Nick Lofton will bat third and be the catcher. Vinny Pasquatino at first base. Fran Mil Reyes is the DH, batting fifth. Edward Olivares will be in right, batting sixth. Uh, Ramon Lariano will be in center field. Um, MJ Melendez bats eighth, and he's in left. And Nicky Lopez will be the shortstop. So, with all of that out of the way, we are going to game time. And you can see right there, they uh, they have the uh, matchup ready to go for us. And, of course, they're going to give you the tour of beautiful Kauffman Stadium here in Kansas City. And then we will get underway with this game. And that is going to be a base hit. So the Marlins lead off with a base hit. Um, and that brings up Alec Burleson. He is uh, probably, a, I'm thinking he's a made-up guy. Did we get him? We did not get him. So uh, Al Alec Burleson is the batter, and of course you've got Nick Lofton with the bad arm, not really a catcher, doesn't throw him out. Um, I'm going to try a pitch out just to keep him honest here. 
All right, he doesn't go anywhere. And that is going to be a ground ball to short that holds the runner at second. So there's a man on with one out. And um, Jacoby Berry, don't know who he is. I don't know if he's actually in the Marlins system, but he walks. And so there's two on with uh, one out, and Shohei Otane is up. And he throws a lollipop down to third and does not get the runner. So now runners are at the corners. And we don't get him either. So we're trying. he's trying to pick everybody off here because he knows he's going to get um, smoked. That is, what is that? What, a fly ball? Um, they scored a run. So I don't know what happened there. I'm not sure. Maybe a, oh, a strikeout in a pass ball. I don't know. All right. Um, anyway, we've got two outs and a runner at third now. Jorge Soler is up, and he is going to lace a base hit and knock in the Marlins' second run. So they have a 2 nothing lead, and Albert... El Mora. There he is, and he's going shopping at the gap, and he's going to get probably knock in another run, the third run already for the uh, Marlins. Did we get him? Trying to stretch it? We did not. Oh, yeah, we did. Did we? Yes, we did. All right. So, but the Marlins have a 3 nothing lead. So, we got a lot of work to do against Sixto Sanchez with Bobby Witt leading off. And Bobby Witt is going deep, deep off the wall, but not a home run. So that'll be a double, a triple, triple for Bobby Witt. Nice. Well, that's the way to lead it off, especially when you're down three nothing after a half an inning, and uh, Camargo is the batter. Johan Camargo is going to be out, and the. Outfielder gets the ball in quickly enough. No, he doesn't get it in quickly enough to stop the run. So we did score the run on that. And um, Nick Lofton is the batter. He is the makeshift catcher. And he hits the ball up the middle. He's appreciating the playing time, even if it's not at his natural position. And i got to believe the game is going to turn him into a catcher since I keep playing him at catcher. Um, Vinny Pascal, and that's why I consistently do it with the same guy because I want the game to make him into a catcher. And so we'll see when we go into the next year whether he has catcher listed as one of his positions. But Zerp is back out there pitching. We're down 3-1 now. And looks like he might walk the guy. No, no, he swings away on a 3-1 count and he's out. And that brings up Kiner Falefa, their shortstop. And he's a good defensive shortstop, but not much with the bat. But we throw a lollipop over to uh, first and don't get him. So Kiner Falefa is over there, and Dalton Guthrie is the third baseman and batting right now. And we get the lead runner at second on a fielder's choice. So there's two down with a man at first and Brooks Lee, the second baseman. Again, I don't know if that's a made-up player or whether it's a guy in the Marlins system that just appeared on their uh, roster in the game. So we're down 3-1. Uh, that's not insurmountable, but we've got to start hitting. Fran Mil Reyes strikes out, though, and uh, that brings up Edward Olivares. Edward Olivares gets a line drive fly out to right field. And Ramon Liriano, the center fielder, is up. And he's going to look like get a base hit. Yes, he does. Liriano is aboard with two down and Melendez, the batter. And he is going to ground out. So uh, we come away with no run there. We're in the top of the third inning where Alec Burleson is facing Zerpa. And Zerpa allows a base hit, yes. Now I'm going to try a pitch out here to try to keep these guys honest and keep them at their bases. That's going to be a fly out. No, he doesn't get there. He lets it drop in front of him. 
So there are two on with nobody out and Otani the batter. And Otani is going to ground out. Like I don't even know how like if the if the rules for finances apply in general um, in out of the park as they do in real life, I don't know how the Marlins could get Otani. But here is Al Mora Jr. and that's a pass ball. And you're gonna go through that, of course, when you don't have a real catcher at the plate, uh, behind the plate. And Al Mora Jr. is still up and he walks. But Zerp is not helping himself. He's walking people, he's allowing base hits. Our defense, of course, is also not very good, and that rip gets a, that's a rip right between uh, second and short that goes for a base hit and knocks in another run. And it's 5-1. The Marlins are just kicking our ass right here. Maybe a double play? Let's hope. And it is. And so we got out of that, but it's it's now it's 5-1. Um, Nicky Lopez is the batter. I don't know if we've got uh, four more runs in us. But Nicky Lopez hits it high and deep, and it is a home run. Nicky Lopez going deep. You gotta love that. So now it is five to two with Bobby Witt Jr. We'd like to see him do that. And but he is going to hit a he's gonna get a base hit down the right field line. It's just a single, and he holds it first. Johan Camargo. And he is going to hit into a double play. We did not need that. And uh, we're scoring, you know, we're answering back, but we're only answering back with a run when they get multiple runs. That's not, not no way to win a baseball game. And we're out of the inning, and so we're down to the top of the fourth here. Zerpa, I'm just going to keep out there until, you know, his bar is out because... Uh, I don't have the time to be playing games with, you know, smoking the bullpen in a game that we're probably going to lose. I would be impressed if we came back and won this one, but I just don't see it happening. There is two down, though, quickly, and Burleson is the batter for Miami. And he is going to ground out. And so we are going to the bottom of the fourth. Vinny Pasquatino, the batter, and he got some good wood on that ball, but it flew flew out to left field. Fran Miel Reyes is up, and Fran Miel Reyes got some good wood and a single. Now we need somebody to hit a home run right here, like Oliveris, since he's up at the plate. He's a perfect candidate. He does get a base hit, not a home run, but he gets a base hit. Got a little something brewing here. We got two runners on with one down and Ramon Lariano up, and he is going to ground out into a fielder's choice at least. He, it wasn't a double play, thank God. And so now the batter is MJ Melendez. We need a key base hit here. He doesn't get it. He flies out to center. So uh, it's still five to two. And I think Zerpa probably here in the top of the fifth has, I'm going to hope the fifth in him, and then uh, we can go to the bullpen after that. There is one down quickly, and um, Otani is the batter. And Otani is going to, no, there's an error on the right fielder dropping the ball in foul territory and giving Otani another shot. You don't really ever want to do that. That's a ground ball to second, though, so he's out. Otani not very impressive in this game. Uh, and Soler is the batter. And Soler gets a base hit, right, a little flare right over the shortstop's head and into left field. So there's a man aboard with two down, and Elmora is up. And Elmora is not going to get out because the second baseman throws another lollipop. Is that guy a real second baseman or what? What's the deal? So Nick Fortes, the catcher, is at the plate, and of course another fast passed ball. We're going to have to suffer along with that. I'm, I mean, really seriously considering in the in our third season making myself the GM and the manager of the team, uh, both because it is really ridiculous to not have a catcher on the roster. And did we get out of the inning? 
Uh, we did not. It's six to two, and there's two down, and Dalton Guthrie. So yeah, I mean, if I'm the if I'm the GM, I can have a real backup catcher from the minor leagues and put him on the put him on the roster. And uh, not to not to mention, I mean, Salvador Perez is getting kind of long in the tooth anyway, and and I think he's in his last year. A lot of these guys are in the last year of their contract, so I could let them a lot of them go and just bring up the minor leagues. Now, I'm not much at doing this. I, I don't do the general manager thing a lot in Out of the Park, so uh, you you guys out there can tell me if that's a, a good, bad idea. I mean, I'm sure it, it mirrors reality to some degree. Like, if you bring up guys that are really overmatched and not ready, it ruins their career um, in the major leagues. Um and it would be essentially starting from scratch again, too. Uh, but there's just some guys like, um, you know, like Salvador Perez. He's just a little too old. And uh, keeping him around just for the sake of keeping him around, especially when he keeps getting tired, and then I have to go to a backup catcher, which is really not a backup catcher in this case, but next year also, uh, you know, would be, I'd constantly be going to the backup catcher. So we got a little something going here. We got runners at the corners with two down and Pasquatino up. We could use a real key base hit, although we are losing 7-2, to two, I think. And that's a fly out to center. So, yeah, 7-2. to two. And we're in the top of the sixth. And I really am I'm, I'm going to put the bullpen up, but I forgot to get the bullpen going. So we are going to... Um, get Albert Alzale up. Um, I, know, I know him in real life from the Cubs. Uh, but anyway, we're going to see if uh, Zerpa can get a couple of outs um, while Alzale warms up. Um, Burleson is up. Hopefully he'll be ready by the time... Well, I mean, he got the first two outs. I, he's... Really getting tired, but uh, let's see. Now nah, he's still warming up. Well, let's see if he can get out of the inning. And really, if he can't get out of the inning by the time he gets into too much trouble, like he allowed a base hit right there, um, Elzele should be ready. So we'll let him. We'll give him one more batter right here, Otani. Uh, that was really a mistake. Otani went shopping at the Gap, and is probably knocking in another run. Now we're going to hope Elzele is ready. Take a check of that. And he is. Now he is. So we'll bring him in. And it's 8-2. So you see what kind of issues this team has. Um, I mean, and also we don't go out and get veterans. I, I think we, you know, when we go get, at least when this general manager goes and gets veterans, he gets... Uh, not very good veterans, kind of like the real-life White Sox, because I'm a White Sox fan, and that's exactly what uh, real-life White Sox did this year. They went out and they just signed retreads and, you know, uh, veterans that aren't going to cost a lot of money. Um, you know, they, they, they did it under the guise of improving the defense because they'll have Paul DeYoung at shortstop and Nicky Lopez at second. And yes, that will improve the defense, but those guys aren't going to hit. And so how do you address that problem? And that's kind of what this uh, out-of-the-park Kansas City GM is doing. He is uh, really just kind of, you know, he doesn't go out and get big-name uh, talent. Now, I know if if this operates like the real Kansas City Royals, we don't have a budget that would allow us to do that, and I'm going to have to deal with that if I make myself the GM, and I will deal with it um, as best I can. But uh, I definitely need a roster where I have a backup at key positions, like catcher. And, like I said, we've got several guys in the last year of a contract, and I would like to be able to make the decision on whether we keep them. Like, I wouldn't keep, um, uh, as I've said, I would I would let um, Salvador, Salvador Perez go, whether he decides to retire for the uh, purposes of the game or 
go sign with somebody else, um, that that's fine. But I would be inclined to let him go because we need to get younger and we need to get into the system. Now, I don't know if he improved the system or how good the system is. And uh, we can check that in another episode a little later down the road because I know you can check that in the game and we can see, we could see how good the system is. And if we have a good system, then, you know, hopefully some guys would be ready. So Elzele is out there for like his um, second, uh, I, I think this if he completes this inning, it'd be like two and a third innings. Um, pitching against Brooks Lee. And he allows a base hit between first and second. So there's a runner aboard. I'm going to try to pitch out and try to control the running game a little bit as best I can. And that's going to be a, uh, well, I, we, we got the uh, runner at second at least. So they've got a runner at first with one down, an 8-2 lead here in the uh, top of the eighth. And that's another ground ball, and this time he does throw a bullet drive over to first and get the guy at first. So that's fielder's choice. We got a runner at second, there. the Miami Marlins do. A runner at second with two outs, and that will get us out of the inning. So we're down by six. Um, I think that's a tall order for this lineup. Nick Lofton, our catcher, is up. Also, Nick Lofton, when I started playing him at catcher, he was just a, he was strictly a bench player and hitting 077, but I think he's doing a lot better than that right now. Pasquatino is the new batter, and we'll check that with the, when the box score comes up. It'll give his updated batting average. But yeah, he was hitting 077 when he came into the game, when he uh, started being our, our backup, really almost regular catcher, because Salvador Perez is always in need of a rest. And that's going to be a strikeout, and that's I mean, and that's the biggest reason why you don't stick with him, is because he just constantly needs rest, and uh, you know who needs that if you're the team. So I'm going to get some. Well, I'm not going to get somebody up yet. We're going to. Well, yeah, I should have probably gotten someone up between innings. But now we'll see if he can get through. I mean, he might as well just try to get through it and finish it up, so I don't have to. Uh, go through my bullpen. There is an error there at shortstop. Looks like. And, uh, yeah. Elzele. And he's going to throw the man out at first, so there's a fielder's choice. Runner at second, one down with um, Fortes up at the plate. And he's going to pop up to the, sh to the third baseman. Two down. Pretty quickly here, and then Kiner Falefa is the batter. Not a great hitter, and he is going to fly out. So we have to get six runs here in the bottom of the ninth. I don't see that happening. I really don't, but who knows? We're going up against Edward Cabrera now. He is the pitcher that's come on for Miami, and we have Luriano at the plate, and he strikes out. Uh, that brings up Melendez. It gives way to Melendez who strikes out. And this guy is just throwing smoke. And Nicky Lopez is the batter. And Nicky Lopez is going to fly out to left field. And that is it. And we lose this one 8-2. to two. And again, we will look at the uh, box score. But yeah, that drops us to 24-60 and 60 on the year. And you can see Lofton, he's hitting 213. And like I said, when I started playing him regularly as the backup catcher, he was hitting 077. So uh, that is uh, something that's uh, different. But anyway, you can look at those batting averages. I mean, that's, you know, um, Camargo is relatively new. He came up, probably came up from the minors to uh, step in for Melendez, or for... Um, Massey, who's um, injured. So Zerpa goes five and two-thirds, allows 12 hits and six earned runs to uh, raise his ERA to 538. And Elsley goes three and a third real good innings and lowers his ERA to 712. So that tells you everything you need to know. So we are leaving the game. We'll finish today. And uh, 
that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.